and the development environment and the networking and the database um, sophistication together are things they cannot begin to get from these class of products. So the first thing we're seeing is the custom app is the key thing that's driving these people to upgrade from PCs and workstations. And even down here, we see the same thing. People that have mission-critical apps they need to do, deciding they don't want to write the application itself on the mainframe and use it via a terminal, but rather they want to write the application in a much better development environment where they can create the app much faster with a much better user interface, much more cost-effectively, and talk to the database on the mainframe through sophisticated networking. So custom applications is our number one reason driving people into this category. Now, the second reason is one that may come up initially, or it may come up in a secondary way for the first sale of products to the customer, or it may even come up in a secondary sale three to six months down the road. And that is the desire to use great productivity apps. That's number two. Great productivity apps. As an example, when it comes up in the first sale, many times people will want their employees to be using the custom app 90% of the time, but still need productivity apps 10% of the time. But more likely, they will start to understand that they want to put our workstations on the desks of a wider audience than just need to use the custom app. They'll want to include more administrative personnel, more marketing personnel, have them all on the same network so that they can share the interpersonal computing that our system provides. And productivity apps will come into play. To the extent that we have even better productivity apps than are available on PCs, and to the extent that those productivity apps use the network so they can tie people together, we're going to win. Perfect example is, of course, Lotus Improv. Another example is full WYSIWYG Word Perfect. A third example will be, of course, our advanced version of Adobe Illustrator that ships in the next 60 days. So having better productivity apps will be important to the primary sale. I believe what we're starting to see, first Boston is a good example in the financial services market that I forgot to draw, of a company where we sold 40 or 50 computers to, primarily for the custom app in one group, Three, four months later, a second group comes back and wants to buy over 1,000 computers for another group that is more concerned now with great productivity apps as the computers start to spread more widely in the organization. The third reason that people are moving in, which is one that I think will not become paramount in 1991, but within 24 months will be the largest reason people are buying our computers is interpersonal computing. Improving group productivity and collaboration through the use of sophisticated desktop computers. And right now when we first meet a customer, we tell them about interpersonal computing. I'm sure most of them would rather hear about the custom app solutions and the great productivity apps that we have. But as these customers become educated in the sales cycle, I'm sure all of you have seen the value of interpersonal computing rise in their eyes. And as we are successful, customer by customer, over the next year to 18 months, interpersonal computing will be something that rises on the customer's agenda of what's important, even as we walk in the door. As Regis McKenna once said, the best marketing is education. And as we accomplish that education, more and more customers are going to be asking us about interpersonal computing uh, versus us having to educate them. Now, interpersonal computing is something that, again, relies on a very powerful desktop computer and very sophisticated networking, neither of which are available in these classes of machines. So to the extent that an organization wants to use interpersonal computing, again, they are compelled into the professional workstation category. Now, one of the things we pretty much know is that everyone who is considering a purchase of Next Computers at one point or another in the sales cycle calls up Sun. They'd be foolish not to. Unfortunately, the reciprocal is not yet true. Uh, our goal is to make it so that everyone who is considering a purchase of a Sun calls us up. And you'll see more and more of our marketing targeted to try to make this happen as the year rolls on. 
So let's say Sun or Next spend their hard-earned marketing dollars and sales energy and convince a customer to move into this category, and the customer, being a smart one, calls up the other company. So that Sun and Next are always competing for every order. What are our key competitive strengths against Sun? It turns out that they are exactly the three things that are driving people into the category in the first place. We couldn't ask for a much better situation. Let's examine them. Custom applications. It turns out that our development environment is vastly superior to Sun's. And this is being decided not by us, but by our customers' best technical people when they return from our software camp. Our best competitive weapon, to illustrate this point, is to get our customers' best two or three developers to spend a week and to come to Redwood City or Pittsburgh and go through our developer camp. They will go back raving about Next Step and telling their own management that Next Step will allow them to build their custom app three times faster than Sun. We've had a lot of experience in this so far. And I think one of the things we need to do is to use our software camp more. We're not seeing enough corporate developers through the software camp. We're not getting potential customers to send their best technical people through our software camp either soon enough in the sales cycle or at all. And it's an area where we could really get more benefit. Secondly, once they're in this category comparing us with Sun, the comparison of productivity apps really tilts in our favor. The productivity app suite that we now have and are in the process of getting dwarfs that of Sun. Not only do we have more apps that are easier to use for this customer, but we have the breakthrough ones. We have the Lotus Improv. We have the WYSIWYG WordPerfect, et cetera, et cetera. So once they're in this category, the productivity app comparison is no longer against these guys. It's against Sun, and we're winning hands down. The third, interpersonal computing. A demo will communicate very rapidly how superior Next is in interpersonal computing. And we will be supplying you a videotape of a demo that we've been using a lot. Uh, I would suggest you use it to show your customers. And I would suggest that you get the software that's on this videotape and learn how to demo it yourself. Very rapidly, we have been able to convince customers that because of our multimedia features and our ease of use features, these people can use interpersonal computing on our system to achieve a far superior result than they can with Suns. So these are the three competitive weapons that we have against Sun. And as we use them to move people into the category, they are already very well positioned to see us in a favorable light once they're inside the category. So I hope this gives you a feel for what we've learned in the last 90 to 120 days. I have no doubt that we will continue to learn more and more together at an ever accelerating rate as we get more and more customers. We've been listening a lot to them, and we intend to listen even more to them, to continue refining this professional workstation market definition and what is important to these customers and our competitive position against our number one competitor, Sun. I hope this has proved useful. I'm really excited to hear some of your comments and thoughts about what you think of all this. And of course, more and more information about how we continue to refine it in the future. Thanks a lot. Give me some feedback if this is a successful way of communicating. And uh, I'm sure I'll see most of you soon, and I'll see you all at the retreat. Thanks.